In this lesson, we will discuss a hack to visualize cage shapes using the Nandi method. The word caged refers to the five open chord shapes of C, A, G, E, and D major. Take a look at the locations of root C in the neck diagram below and observe the following. The C shape has roots on the A and B strings, the A shape on the A and G strings, the G shape on the E and G strings, the E shape on the E and D strings, and the D shape on the D and B strings. Take note that we must always follow the C, A, G, E, D order if we wish to navigate to the next shape on a higher fret. Each of the five cage shapes has more than one root location. Here is a helpful shortcut to recall the string location of the closest root. When ascending in frets, the order of strings is B, A, G, E, D. And when descending in frets, it is D, E, G, A, B. To identify the five cage shapes on the fretboard using the Nandi method shortcut, we must first rearrange the notes E, A, D, G, and B in ascending alphabetical order. We will arrive at the notes A, B, D, E, and G. If we double this letter pattern, we can derive the following pairs of string names. A, B, D, E, G, A, B, D, and E, G. Notice that in the first three string pairs, the string names A, B, D, E, and G, A are a second apart. Using this relationship as a reference, we can recall that there are two frets separating the roots in the C, A, and E shapes. You will find these shapes illustrated in the neck diagram below. The notes in the last two string pairs, B, D, and E, G, are ascending thirds. This means that the identical root is three frets lower when moving from the B to D and E to G strings. When descending in thirds from D to B and G to E strings, the identical root is three frets higher. Once we know how to derive the fret distance between the roots in the five shapes, the next logical question is, how do we determine whether the other root in the shape is located two frets lower or two frets higher? We can apply another one of our shortcuts here. For example, when ascending in string names from A to B, we will consider the letter B higher than A. Instead of assuming that moving to a string with a higher name means a higher fret location of the identical root, we must think the opposite. For example, when ascending in seconds from the A to B, D to E, or G to A strings, the identical root is two frets lower. On the other hand, when descending in seconds from the B to A, E to D, or A to G strings, the identical root is two frets higher. Now, let's put our shortcuts to the test. Take a look at the G note on the fifth fret of the D string. What should our thought process be if we wish to determine the identical root on a higher and lower fret? First, we must remember that the roots in any shape are either two or three frets apart. Next, we must ascend and descend alphabetically from the letter D, our current string location. As D to E is an ascending second, we will find the identical root two frets lower on the E string. Since D to B is a descending third, we can arrive at the identical root three frets higher on the B string. Take a look at this diagram. Can you name the two shapes that share the root F? If you said the two shapes are D and C, you're right. When we count up a third from the string letter B to the string letter D, our identical root is three frets below, giving us the D shape. When we count down a second from B to A, however, our identical root is two frets higher in the C shape. The shortcuts discussed in this lesson will come in handy, especially if you have trouble remembering root note locations when navigating from one shape to the next. If you find our lessons helpful, please make sure to like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. There you have it, visualizing caged roots with the Nandi method. 
Our mobile app, Guitar Intervals Unleashed, is available for download on the App Store and Google Play. Here, you will find training apps to help you decode the CAGE system using the NATI method.